Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Today we are going to learn a very unique feature in 3ds Max under the compound objects that is called Measure. Now what does Measure actually do? Okay, Measure is absolutely very specific, uh, have a very specific use in 3ds Max and that is to be very clear that it has to be very very specific on, on field purpose. Okay, now if I have a uh, uh, particle system and this is very useful for the for the you know the visual effects artist or FX artist we actually creates on the particles and work on particles in details okay <clears throat> so uh, in the particle system I have just created a PF source okay and cool now it has some it has some particles that is coming out now in, if I move to the particle view and oops I have already have an event okay just deleting the old one okay so this is the pf source that we have and you can see that under the display it's all already called ticks and we can change that we already know that to circles lines or anything for the display now I can turn on the geometry also which actually show as a cubes and that shape actually has been predefined on the shape that is 2d you can switch on to the triangles as 2d or maybe a diamond or whatever you want but that is my shape though this one is absolutely for viewports and if you render you will already see the amount of uh, the the uh, cubes that you have for renders so it's just for the display purpose now we cannot convert this to as a geometry though it's showing us the geometry but these are the particles these are not actually the geometry that means these are not polygon or patch or knobs or something so we have to uh, convert them we have to convert them to a, a mesh object now for creating that if I go to uh, the modify list and if I hit edit poly you can see this you cannot convert this to edit poly you can convert those to the edit patch but still you cannot convert them to edit poly or edit mesh for creating them or converting them to the edit mesh or edit poly you need that option through measure now go to the compound object and click on measure and you just create that it's a, a funny looking uh, a parameter type type of uh, object and go to the option box or the sorry the uh, modify panel and it was a very very pretty uh, you know the uh, specific uh, parameters are out there over here you can see that there is a pick object now if you hit none and click on the pf source immediately you can see it, the object the object that is there has there was in measure that has been transferred into polygonal cubes but hey wait still these are not uh, uh, be a polygon or or a mesh but from the modify list if I hit E and you can see now that we can apply the edit mesh or edit poly modifiers over here and the moment I hit edit poly modifier I can have this vertex edges borders and polygons options so that's why that's how it's it it's already become the already become the you know the uh, geometrical model and you have your animation also happening over here but remember that uh, please use edit poly modifier not it not just converting them to editable poly if I hit converting them to editable poly it's actually delete the information that is uh, you know kept under the measure that is connecting with the uh, uh, 
with your PF source so that will be disconnected and immediately you can see this is still object we cannot have that animation that or or the movement that we have uh, created and the particle system that we lost so you have to remember two things one that you cannot convert it to a editable poly you have to use the edit mesh or edit poly modifier and Another one is you cannot delete this because if you delete this, it's, it's the measure is not getting the source. So that is very important. The two things are very important. One thing is you cannot delete the uh, PF source object and also you cannot uh, converting these objects to, uh, to the measure. So... <clears throat> I hope you just uh, uh, you can you can offset your time over here um, or build only at the time of uh, render that is also uh, possible because if you switch on that you can see that objects are there but it's not converting it, it into a into a you know uh, a polygonal object uh, the, uh, the moment you you create uh the moment you are actually navigating in your um, viewport but when you hit render it's only building at the rendering time you can manually update your uh, uh your changes over here or you can switch on to a custom uh bounding box or or even uh uh, you can you can choose your uh, custom bounding box from here also and there are other options are out there but pf uh, pflow events that's uh if you want to add some of the particle flow event that you are actually being kept over here uh under this uh let's suppose i i want to create any kind you can find an event over here that i really want to add and those event can be import within this object so that uh, so that that the particles or the objects will also behave uh, almost samely so those events are absolutely you know uh, uh, for for exclusive for the for the pf source so you can import them to from from these options add pf events so hope you understand this and it will be very very effective for those who are in the visual effects and also for the dynamic sections so Hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Twitter and also like our Facebook page. So thank you very much.